One of the things that, uh, that, that we want is representative government. And, you know, I, I realize, I mean, you have three gentlemen next to you in particular that I think, I mean, Brian has been extremely supportive on a number of fronts and um, other folks that, you know, we think have at least the ear and the pulse of the community. What we find is that oftentimes the county executives don't necessarily allow individuals that work for them to actually tell them what the need in the community is. And unfortunately, there's oftentimes a, a disconnect. Um, one of the things that, that we're looking to, that, that we would like to see uh, up to this point, uh, it appears that every county executive from, you know, I, I think you mentioned 20 years ago um, in, in one of your comments was that there's usually one person of, of color uh, that becomes, that, that's appointed as, as far as deputy county executive. Um, we are interested in seeing more than one uh, individual uh, of color as far as being appointed, uh, qualified, uh, individuals that really have the pulse of the community and the interest of the community at hand because oftentimes, you know, some, some of those appointments uh, don't necessarily reflect community interest. Um, so we wanted to know what kind of commitment you can make in the higher echelon of, of, of First, government. First, let me tell you, I reduced the number of deputy county executives, so number one. Num number two, the more important thing is we approach it as a team. I empower those that have their responsibilities to make decisions. Now, I'm certainly available there for guidance and certainly certain certain spending decisions require you know even more than, than my ability to approve them because we have a, a certain thresholds that require the legislature and other you know contractual and procurement procedures but we've empowered our team and our team is reflective of the community all of our communities uh, you know, I've basically approached government to try to give everybody an equal opportunity to achieve the American dream make it affordable make a better playing field for everyone and that's how we've approached government. I've had more open meetings in the, in the, at the county seat, nights, weekends, by nearly every group that, that has come together to add to government, to come up with suggestions. We try to institute those suggestions. We certainly host them right at the government seat, whether it be the ceremonial chambers in my office <coughs> or, or, or legislative chambers. You know, that's how we've approached government. I really think that we have a great team, a very diverse team, all that have the common goal of helping everyone and not just the select few. Could you share with us how many deputy county executives you have and how many are of color? I have. Uh, all together? I don't really look at people based on As someone who teaches, as someone who teaches I, diversity and, 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 and oppression, and, 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 I can tell you that that is probably one of the worst, worst answers yeah, yeah, yeah. you can ever make. But we'll I work on that. On we'll work on that. On <laughs> that. Uh, how many? How many deputy? How many? How many deputy county executives do you have? You know, I hear you. But how many deputy county executives? I have a deputy county executive from our chaos, which is from the Elliot. I have a deputy county executive for finance, which is Tim Sullivan. I have deputy. Three. 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 There used to be. And I have a chief deputy. And there used to and be how many? A lot more. Five. A lot. A lot. A lot more. You know. A lot. There was. There was economic eight development, ten. which now we basically purpose the uh, head of the IT <coughs> to do that as an economic development oh, team. Really? You know, there, there were others. We definitely did consolidate. We reduced our administration or patronage, if you want to. Some people call it patronage. <laughs> But those within the county executive, which include the deputy county executives, you know, we've reduced that by 25%. Yes, we reduced our workforce in total by 20%. We reduced, well, I have direct control of in my office by 25%. So we did do that. You know, titles you know, are, are what they are. I mean, I think that keep empowering people to make decisions and make a difference and bring their voice back to government and get things done, that's what we concentrated more on. Mr. McGann, you, you mentioned that uh, uh, you know, the, how you, you kind of cut down on, on government overall as well as in-house in with you. Um, uh, if you're reelected, um, do you plan to make any major changes within uh, your in, internal operation, that being in terms of structure? And if so, um, would you consider having persons from uh, this group serve to help you work on a transition team? Uh, absolutely, we'd absolutely love to have them on, on our transition team. 
I mean, basically, as far as right size in government, we came up with a plan. We are at the number that we believe is necessary to run Nassau County, which is 20% less, but 74.